Welcome to this tutorial about Arch Merch 6.1.1. It's a clean install, nothing happened. Uh, here you see already Pamac telling him, hey guy, you have three available updates. So we could do that as well and do those, those updates just by applying here. Of course, you can do it in the terminal as well, but I guess um, that's up to you. So this is going to be a longer tutorial. There's a short version, and this is the version that's actually for people who never heard of Arch Merge. So you don't have um, a 6.0, you don't know what Arch Labs is, you don't know these things, these things, then you are a new user of Arch Merge, then I should brief you about some things. First of all, Arch Merch has a website, so maybe take a look at that first. So in the website, there is a lot of information available. There are two things in Arch Merch. There's one thing that's called Arch Merch ISO, which has three desktops, and that's what we're going to discuss here. And there is also an Arch Merch, which is a no desktop at all. And in the easiest way to remember it, the one is for the fun and the other one is to learn. Here you have to actually learn a lot of stuff and that's the fun of it because we want to learn fun and enjoy. But this one is fully themed. So everything is there. The only thing you do is just select your wallpaper and a little bit of icons and some color and a conky and done. You watch your um, movies, you listen to your, uh, your MP3s, MP3s and so on. It's all set, set to go. Then there's the other website, which is Arch Merged. Now I switched, you can switch here. So it's, it looks similar, but it's a completely different website. And this one is the one we share our knowledge and we develop with the commands. We're different, we are completely different than other distros. And you decide what desktop environment you want or you decide if you want to have or much at all so we want to educate you want to learn we want to share the knowledge we have here already a budgie you can have an arch merged budgie and as a gallery you can take a look at so it's it's quite beautiful and our project our vision is a long-term one meaning we are not going to to stop very anytime soon and why am i laughing because take a look at the arched merch gallery um, we can make tutorials about Cinnamon, about Budgie, LX, LXQT, Deeping, Plasma and read on. So yeah, a lot of tutorials will come in the future and it's going to be fun for us, for you. Okay, so that's um, Arch Merch. It provides three desktops, you say. I just see one. Yeah, true. So this is XFCE. We end up here and it's actually called XFCE 4, but in short, XFCE, and uh, it's already themed. This is not the normal look. If you install XFCE and you see other distros, then it's just the plain XFCE. This is already a whisker menu, which has something special things to it, so we could go inside. So I promise this is gonna be a little bit longer, so we'll learn everything. Well, not everything, but you know, the, the fun stuff, I'll, I'll go with you into that. So this is the whisker menu. You can change the icon here. You can say, guys, I'm very proud to have Arch Merge 6.1.1. And then you share it here on the title. And that's how it works. You can make opacity a little bit uh, less and so on. You can change all these settings. This is this thing here. Um, we can change it. The background, sorry, the background is this thing uh, like so. What else um, information here? You just take a look. I just go over some of the things. Not everything. It's not a really a complete tutorial. Every aspect, but just pointers, like for instance this one, with the right mouse click and control pressed, you get the preferences and you can have 70 or more looks. This is a nice one. Uh, looks and you can put it to the left to the right to the top wherever you want to put it and uh, make it bigger smaller it's up to you uh, to choose that so this is our plank you can install uh, it's installed already but you can add more 
application store or say just no I don't want this one Oof, and it's gone so these things are here there is an arch merge hello which is interesting and actually necessary to read um, this one just do not write anything in here just say continue and then oh by choosing a blank password your stored password will not be saved encrypted okay uh, just depends what you do if you have passwords in this system here in your browser then yeah maybe I use my uh, extension LastPass it's all stored in there and it's online so I don't use it so now the pop-up will not come so this is our website um, this is well, where I think most of the questions you will have will be answered here. So do read it. A lot of information in there. For instance, the pseudo hard code fixer. There are icons that are not following the look. Where is the icon? Oh, this one, for instance, is not following the look as the other ones. And that's not our mistake. That's the mistake of the developer. So you should run this one in the terminal and with a with a, let's make a, let me activate something here screen key don't do it I do not need it I need it to show you this control alt T so that's what I'm pressing and then you quickly sudo hard code fixer I think that's actually a thing I should put in this video because it is really annoying that uh, icons are not looking awesome because of guys who make a hard-coded path. Where is it again? Here it is. So that's okay. That's done. That's taken care of. And it's all in here. So we have to read what's special. Where are the hidden treasures? If you want termite, so Control alt t If you want to have termite and other kind of blue and not a look, there are 79 choices. So choose something else. Plank teams, we've discussed that. 70 plank teams, we've done that. XFCE, there is no conky. Hmm, that's true. But if you want to have a conky, it's just here, it's waiting for you to click. So that's our goal. Our vision is a complete system. Here you have it, and then you can just click something and say, I want to see what it does. And there you have it. It's a little clock, it's up there. So any of these icons, uh, sorry, conkeys, uh, will work but there's also this a but and that's the fonts the fonts in the conkeys are uh, copyright protected so you should download them and then put them somewhere special on a OneDrive or a Dropbox or USB anywhere and then you can uh, quickly install them back again so you have to fix that this one is also probably one you will go to because of well, I don't want Chromium, I want Vivaldi, or I don't want Evolution, I want something else, but then you should install it now. Tunar, why not Nemo? Termites, why not another one? So you can choose here your preferences. So that's a good thing that we can change it so quickly. It's up here and it's there. And that's our Tunar and all the other applications. You just take a look at it. It's quite uh, complete. We've added um, pop, 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 Office, we added LibreOffice again. Um, we, are, we want really to have, give you a feeling that it's a complete uh, desktop environment that you can, well, you, you will probably uh, have other installations, other applications you want to install, but most of you will say, whoa, it's, it's, it's loaded, it has a lot of applications, and I even don't know these applications. Let's try it out. So that's also a purpose to um, show you that there are other applications out there that are quite interesting, like maybe the Pulse Audio Equalizer and Lollipop and so on and so on. So that's also cool. Another thing is this one here, all settings. That's one you should go through. It has a lot of things. And uh, in the last installation, we have now a firewall configuration. Yes, there is a firewall included in 6.1. It was not included in 6.0, so that's new. A lot of things are new, like sharing, Samba, and all that. But 
take a look at all of these things. Um, it's already tweaked. A lot of these things are already tweaked. Uh, why does this look transparent? It does not look transparent out of the box. So it's a themed distro. Arch Merch, a lot of time and energy went in to figure out what's the most beautiful look. And you can change it again. If it's, it's not your thing, you just say no, 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 no. Don't like all these transparent things. All gone. So it's up to you to figure out what you like, what you want. We give you raw material. It's already tweaked a lot, but you can change whatever you want. Thinking, have I said enough about XFCE? Because I have another two desktops to discuss with you. There are other uh, elements here. There's XFCE 4, but there's also Openbox and i3. And if you want to know what changes, Oh, we have here a reload to do, I guess. Let's close this one. I want to have Vivaldi. So we've changed our preferences. So now we see this thing here. And we see the information of six, uh, the 6.1. And what else can we talk about? We can talk about, um, let's see, pop, pop, pop. I think we should probably change now to our open box. That's, that's the, the first one we should visit. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it. So how do we change from desktop? And that's the advantage of getting three desktops in uh, one distro because well, you, you know how it goes. You download your music, your videos, etc., and you have your extension in Firefox and Google Chrome and all the passwords. And then everything is gone because you have to reformat it. And no, you don't have to because everything is still on the same SSD. Please install an or buy an SSD. It makes your computer super fast. So this is Openbox. And Openbox has here a panel on the top. So this is not in the right place. So <clears throat> control right mouse click and let's put it to the bottom where it's okay to be and here we have here desktop one desktop two desktop three desktop four some icons to change quickly the wallpaper and uh, let's see if we can have wallpaper selector ah, that's working so like so like so this one is nice but okay whatever you choose whatever element or wallpaper you want Close. So you see that this uh, conky is still there. So he remembers that there is a conky and that the conky was chosen XFC. It doesn't matter. It's the same program. That's our advantages. But let's, for fun's sake, let's take something else. It will take some time because it's going to find and figure out all kind of settings. And there you go. That's that. This is open box. And then you say, where is my menu? Where, where I can't click anything. But this is there, of course. But right mouse click is the solution to your problem. You can have a terminal there. And we're off because we have found now the way to get to our menu. Another way to go to your menu is super and then spacebar. That's also a nice thing to know. Super spacebar. There's another menu as well, Super Shift T, which is this kind of thing up here, which is the D menu. We use it in i3, but you can use it here as well. And since we have XFC, we can do Alt F3 as well. So this is also a menu, the menu we just saw in XFCE. So I've given you three menus. Yep. And apply. All right. So Changing things again, um, these things here are all the programs that are installed on the system. Check them out. And then here we can change the conkeys, we can change some colors, XFCE appearance, you know what it, what it is, uh, some themes, some icons. Well, not some icons and some themes, a lot of icons and a lot of themes. Click on it. There you have it. That's our vision. Click have a nice wallpaper, have a nice icon set. That's it. And then do your stuff. Have fun. So this is the have fun ISO Arch Merch. 
it's uh, it will take a little bit of uh, getting used to open box is a bit special um but it's it's awesome it's fast it's uh, beautiful you can theme anything you can change all these panels you can change all the icons and the wallpapers and everything everything you see can be edited and changed which is awesome and um let's go over to i3 so we're gonna exit open box and say let's not exit exit but let's log out and then choose i3 this is going to be for most of the people certainly for the beginners in linux it's going to be the, the most important most difficult one to do because it's an, a tiling manager it's an it divides your space your monitor into into pieces let's see is the screen fetch no screen key is not activated but now it is so Control alt t you know that one that's this one killing this terminal is Control shift q quit um what else if we do super t for instance no that's not the one sorry if we do super enter for instance and super shift enter all options to executes applications super f4 is an application and everything is keyboard driven and that's what makes it difficult and why people are actually stopping with using i3 it's too bad and i was one of them years ago so yeah i understand that it's a problem and that it's difficult here are the shortcuts well some of them actually not all of them but some of them are here they're there for, to help you for instance super x get out of it again if you say no nothing for me then you go reboot shut down suspend log out eh? escape get out of it again so it's up to you um whether you want to tackle i3 or not it's very fast it's very minimal it's a uh, tiling manager is special um but it's it's okay it, it keeps tiling it keeps tiling you don't have to drag and, and drop and resize and all that it's um a great workflow i've tried it i've worked with it um but okay it's not yours then it's uh, super x log out again and then choose again what you want I open box xfce let's go to xfce again and then you are back in your system as you see it remembers where the plank was so if you change all these things then you have to put it back again and that's why i put actually it to the left because of all these changes in the left we have here we have panels there we have panels but to the left or to the right we don't have any panels so that's why the dock is here i think that concludes my tutorial it's uh it's long enough and there are lots of um, elements available lots of uh, um, um, tutorials on archmerch.com so go ahead and take a look and uh, enjoy Arch Merch. Bye.